Okay, we're checking the volume <coughs> of the new oil we're going to make. What we did is we filled this base with water and then we poured it into here. And what we got is a cup and a half. Um, it's a little less than a cup and a half, but I spilled some, so I'm going to say a cup and a half. And so the question is when we get this here, if we put it this way, you can see and then glue it around, or we can put it this way and glue it around, but we lose volume by putting it upside down, so how much volume are we going to save by doing it this way? And so we now know that this is a cup and a half, so actually we can estimate it as uh, three cups, since it's one and a half cup in here and then one and a half, it fills the volume, but we also want to know how much does the oil hold, so what we've done is we've taped off the bottom, we're going to fill it with water, and then we're going to measure it using this, uh, this uh, ice, three quart uh, iced tea maker. Okay, here we go, we're going to fill it up. As you can see, the uh, aerator thing came off our faucet, and so it's kind of spraying stuff around. i got to be careful not to drop this and break it. And you can see it's all leaking out the bottom. My tape didn't work. Okay, I held it closed with my fingers, and I uh, then quickly poured it in here, and you can see we got just above the three-quart line. And so we're going to call it three, a little over three quarts. And I put the oil as the uh, pottery outside. You can see um, over here uh, to dry in the sun before we glue them. Okay, it looks like the oil is leaking, even though I thought I did a really good job of gluing not just on the interface but also around the edge. So I'm going to have to try and figure out whether it's leaking because the glue is not complete or what the actual problem is. It's 5 August and we were checking out the oil and it's leaking and I'm not sure why. I thought we did a really good job on the seam so we'll have to figure it out. Okay, as you remember previously we uh, measured the volume of the oil and I used this uh, iced tea container to do it and I told you it was three quarts but then I realized it actually says three quarts for ice so I refilled it to about the same location I'm gonna pour it into this one gallon um, one gallon container and see how much actual water it contains and in the meantime we've also uh, resealed the oil because it was leaking some so we're gonna see if this resealing which was done this morning works after like 24 hours so we just finished pouring the uh, water from the container at the three-quart level into the gallon uh, iced tea container. You can see it's just short of a gallon, so uh, I guess we can call it a gallon or whatever. Okay, we are patching the oil where these marks are. Uh, it's, there's a slight leak because of vertical cracks. You can just barely see them here, and so they're around the perimeter. And so we will... Uh, do that and then we will contribute this Oya to the Row Society meeting tonight as a uh, door prize. Okay, using the uh, Loctite Premium we have now uh, sealed, you can see right here, uh, another one here, and here where the red marks are, we have sealed the uh, vertical cracks, there's like three or four of them.